Yo hello, it's Revere and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the slide effect you saw in the beginning and uh, yeah, let's get uh, right into this. And the first thing you're going to do is to rotate brush out the person and for me in this case uh, it's Lil Dirk so I'm going to rotate brush him out and if you don't know how to rotate brush I've made a tutorial which I'm going to be linking in the description so you can watch that. So yeah, okay, so now when you're done with the rotor brushing, you're going to duplicate this layer. So you just press Ctrl D and then you go to the you go to the layer below and you can delete the rotor brush effect here. So you can see the background now. And now we're going to keyframe the position of the background. And uh, so here you can open up the layer then in, into here, transform. And then we're going to make the position so when you do this, you can see it becomes black here. Uh, the whole uh, like video ends here. So how to fix that is you're going to add a effect called the motion tile to your clip here and then press mirror edges and then increase the width to 1500 for us. And now we're just going to increase this. So something like this, zoom in so you can really see Perfect. And now we can press the clock here on the position. So now we have a keyframe. Then we go one second forward to here. And then we go back to the normal position. And you can copy this anchor point position, which is 960. It looks pretty weird now, but how to fix this is to add motion blur. That is this uh, icon here. You just press this here. Then boom. And now it's motion blurred. And we're also going to fix the graph here. So we are just going to mark these two keyframes. Press F9. Go into the graph here. And then, and here we're going to make it fast in the beginning. And then it slows down the further on it in the video it goes. So we're just going to drag this as far in as we can. And this uh, as far out as we can. So now it looks something like this. And that is what we want. That looks insanely clean. And uh, now... Uh, we can add some effects to spice it up a little bit more. So you can start by making an adjustment layer and then add curves just like that. And then to increase the contrast, we're just going to drag this up and then down here a little bit down. This basically increases the contrast. And now we're also going to add a deep glow to this, something like that. And we're just going to increase the exposure a little bit to 1.25. Check smooth blending and then increase the threshold to 70. That should be good. You can name this CC if you want. We're also going to add vignette. And the default settings looks good in my opinion. So I'm going to keep that. Also add sharpen. And increase this to 50. You can see the difference here if you zoom in. This is the difference. Looks pretty pretty good. And then, and then for the last effect add noise. And for this we're going to increase it to 10 percent and then uncheck use color noise so yeah this is basically how to you made the slide effect and a little bit more you know bonus effects you could use but i think this looks pretty pretty clean like you can see the his chain is glowing and yeah i thought this looked pretty clean so if you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any new ideas on tutorials i could make please comment that down below and uh, yeah I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day.